Up next, the final countdown. Ten seconds, AJ. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, AJ. Well, all the hype this weekend was around Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. But while all that was going on, a Regina MMA fighter was also taking to the mat in Las Vegas. AJ Scales won gold at the 2017 International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championships. AJ's here now with his new best friend, his gold medal. (laughs) Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. (laughs) So tell me about this win. Um... Well, I had uh, four matches to make it to the final. Um, I actually got a bye in the first round, which... Why'd you get a bye? Um, it was just the luck of the draw. Okay. Um, every time I've competed in the past, I've never been so lucky. But this year, I managed to get a bye the first round. And then it would have been... So from the beginning, it would have been five matches to make it to the to the final. So, okay. So I fought four on Saturday and... Or sorry, Friday. And, and how'd they go? Um, I won one match by submission and three by by points. Okay. And I don't know a lot, this may surprise you, about Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but tell me a little bit about what, take me through the the match maybe and what were some of the challenges that popped up for you? Um, well, you know, like last year I, I managed to make it to the bronze medal um, rounds and brought home a bronze. And so this year I was a little bit more focused to, to try to just improve a little bit on, you know, what I did and how I um, performed last year. Um, so as I was going through the matches, you know, I, I finally made it to the final and, um, you know, like in the final match, I was going against a multiple world champion in the past. I think he was a black belt as long as I've been training, which is about, uh, close to 18 years. Wow. And so he had a lot of experience. And, um, you know what, some of my coaches just, you know, they just reminded me to, um, just play my game and stay focused on what I wanted to do. And I took him out of his game plan and I managed to win. How'd you do that? Well, I mean, first of all, I guess, what is his game plan? And then what's your strategy in, well, in taking that on? The guy that I fought in the final, his name is Alberto Godoy. Um, he's from Brazil. Um, everybody knows him. It was a bit of a... Me beating him on on Friday was a bit of an upset, especially because I'm a gringo, um, <laughs> and uh, you know he's he's very known for his stand up game. Um, he has very good judo, um, so I I didn't want to stand up with him during the match. So I within the first few seconds I I took him down, and uh, just kind of took him out of his game plan. So you know I, I I believe he wanted to stand up with me take me down, score points and, you know, try to try to beat me that way. But I, I managed to enforce my game first, um, which I always tell my students to, to always be first and to, to hit the scoreboard first so that yeah. we're not, uh, you know, trying to come back from a, from being down. So I managed to hit the scoreboard first and, and maintain the points for for the remainder of the match. So taking him down is pretty big news in the world of MMA. Well, it is because, you know, usually when you take somebody down, you're on top um, and and you score two points. The way that I took him down, I ended up on the bottom and I scored an advantage and I, and I used my guard the rest of the match to maintain so that he didn't pass my guard, which he would have, you know, scored three points. Um, and uh, so, you know, I, I mean maintained my my points on the board from the takedown and what's the psychology of going into a final with someone with that kind of record and reputation how do you you know mentally how do you 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 know i i think that was what i was lacking a lot of my earlier years through through competition was a lot of um mental strength um i actually have a mentor by the name of gustavo dantes who's uh uh, one of the black belts on my team um he actually has a movement called the bjj mental coach so you know him and i would you know do skype calls and you know we talk about you know the the mental aspect of things what would you talk about well we would we would talk like i think that a lot of times like um because i'm so excluded from the jiu-jitsu world where you know we're here in regina in saskatchewan and there's there's not a lot of it going on, so I have to travel a lot to to go and compete. So, you know, over the years, I always found that because I was by myself, I was training here with my students. I was traveling to to my friends' gyms. I was traveling to Brazil, you know, trying to maintain my, you know, my level and everything. But you always have this doubt of, you know, 
are you supposed to be in this division? Are you at this level? Um, everything like that. So it, it took me 10 years to accomplish my black belt. And I got my black belt in 2009. And I've, you know, I've competed anywhere from two to three times a year against other black belts. And, you know, sometimes you just kind of have this, this doubt in your, in your mind, you know, a little bit of self doubt. And um, so you know, talking with Gustavo, you know, learning from all of his experiences and, and all the things that he went through with self doubt. And, um, you know, it was a similar thing that I was going through. So, you know, we, we would talk about it and we'd say, you know, why, why not me? Why, why am I not, uh, you know, allowed to be here yeah right now, you know? well and so, someone eventually has to take down the master right uh, why not you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so you know what we we did a lot of mental training and everything like that and it's a lot of stuff that i do with my students also and um mm -hmm. you know what Wait, you know when you mentioned the, the isolation and how regina you are kind of isolated from that whole world mm -hmm. what what has kept you here why not move to one of these centers where where you would have a clearer idea of, of where you fit in you know what i i, I grew up in like in Regina and Saskatchewan I'm from here um, you know my roots are here you know I've always thought about like I've, I've moved to Brazil for months at a time to go and train full time and everything like that so I'd go for months at a time I'd come back and I would teach everybody here that you know what I was I was learning in Brazil and and in my travels so I just found that, you know, this is my home and, you know, I, I think I should stay here and, and pass on jiu-jitsu to people here in, in Saskatchewan. So, Do you see your younger self in some of the kids you teach? Yes. Tell you me know, about that. I have probably over 100 kids. I have, the, you know, I was probably, I think I was the first uh, program to start jiu-jitsu for kids here in, in Regina. And, you know, it, it grew to where I have about 100 kids and, you know, six other instructors to help me. And we have so many talented kids um, in my in my kids group. And then not even my kids group, I have talented athletes in my adult group. You know, last year, I took some athletes to world championships. I had uh, one athlete by the name of Bill Beaudry. He won his brown belt division. So he's also a world champion. I took a juvenile this year, his uh, Ben Bigelow. He's only 15 years old. Um, he took bronze in the world championships. So um, it, it's kind of amazing to know that we have world championship or world class athletes in jiu-jitsu here in Regina training out of my gym. Um, and it's, we're kind of like a, a, a little secret here. Um, but you know, the sport is still growing. You know, the UFC has helped Brazilian Jiu Jitsu a lot for recognition. And, um, I think, uh, it's, it's growing here in Saskatchewan. There's other gyms, there's other gyms in, in Regina and Saskatchewan. So, you know, it, it's slowly growing. Mm. And what has it done for you? How are you a different person than, you know, the guy who maybe didn't ever discover this? Um, you know what? A lot of people ask me that and, you know, I have no idea where I'd be, you know, right now. Um, if I didn't have jujitsu, like I said, I've been training jujitsu for nearly 18 years. I think I started in in 1998 and it was still very new um you know i was learning out of magazines and watching, really learning you know, out of magazines yeah i go to the 7-eleven and there was a magazine called the grappling magazine and they demonstrate moves with pictures <laughs> and then i was i was ordering a lot of videos and me and my buddy were, were doing it down in his in his grandpa's basement and so you really built something i believe from, i did from looking at magazines in the 7-eleven hey? yeah i believe i did and you know a, a lot of the traveling too you know learning from from you know Brazil and my my coaches there and where it all started and you know I spent a, a lot of time there traveling back and forth. Yeah. And, Have yeah. you ever been in a social situation where anyone's threatened you in a bar or anything like that, or do people um, just generally stay clear? I've had a few situations, but you know I was able to you know actually get out of them without having to get physical. Um, but yeah, you know I've been in a few situations. I actually used to be a bouncer in one of the one of the nightclubs here and, you know, out of the year or so that I was working there, I maybe got into one physical situation. With someone who wasn't very yeah. smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, next time I have to walk down a dark alley, can I call you to come with me? <laughs> Absolutely. We're, we're actually going to, um, we, we offer some, some women's self-defense classes. We're going to post something pretty soon on our, our website. We've been getting so a lot of emails. So good for young women, hey? Yeah. It just seems, you know, Rijada has been having a few situations lately. And, you know, I think that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu will really empower some of our, our ladies that are working in the downtown area 
like my gym is actually located right downtown, 21, 24 Broad Street. So, you know, we're, we're right in the heart of downtown. And I think we can um, empower some of our ladies here in the city with jujitsu. Sounds good. Thanks for coming in and congratulations again. Thank you. That is one huge medal. That is <laughs> enormous and very, very heavy. Yeah, it was funny because <laughs> I weighed it, my, my bags in at like 49 pounds and then coming home, the only thing that I brought back was my medal and it was like 52 pounds. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations again. Nice to talk to you. Right, AJ you. Scales is the owner of Complete MMA and Fitness in Regina. The George Gordon First Nation member took home the gold at this year's World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Championships in Las Vegas. Dan Berlin joins us now. Hi, Dan. Greetings and salutations. Well, I imagine the Pats are hoping to bring home some hardware this season as well. Kind of a big year for them. 